Hi, in this video we will discuss the concept of outliers. We can use quartiles to determine outliers. Outliers are extremely large or small values that distort data. We typically remove outliers from the data set. Now in order to determine outliers we have to construct theoretical concepts called fences. The left fence is quartile 1 minus 1.5 times IQR, where IQR is the interquartile range. We also calculate the right fence, quartile 3, plus 1.5 times IQR. Any values to the left of the left fence or to the and to the right of the right fence are considered outliers. So let's look at an example. Let's say we're given the following data set and we want to determine if this number 126 which looks very unusual is an outlier. So first step we arrange the values in order from lowest to highest since we let's count the number of values we have three six we have nine values quartile two is the median of the data set that's the middle value in this case since there's an odd number of values so quartile two is 22 to find quartile one we focus on the values that precede 22 and there's four values thus we have to find the midpoint of the two middle values to determine quartile 1. So 9 plus 11 is 20 divided by 2 is 10. That's quartile 1. Quartile 3 is found by looking at the values that follow quartile 2 and we have to find the midpoint of the two middle values 25 and 31 is 56 divided by 2 28. We next compute IQR so that's quartile 3, 28, minus quartile 1, 10, 18. Now we calculate the left fence. So the left fence is quartile 1, 10, minus 1.5 times the interquartile range, 18. That's going to give us a negative value, negative 17. We also calculate the right fence, quartile 3, 28, plus 1.5 times IQR, 18, is 55. And now let's look at our list. So I'm going to insert the two fences. So the first fence is negative 17. There's no values that precede it. So on the left side, there are no outliers. We insert 55. 55 falls between 31 and 126. Since 126 is to the right of 55, the right fence, it is an outlier. So 126 is the outlier and it would be removed from our data set. Thanks for watching the video.